And here he hey. is, direct from some sort of dark it's dimension. Working. Pumpkin guy. How's it going? It's working. It's actually working, kinda. Uh, dude, we got a new setup. We got a new seven. Hey, Phoenix Murrow, what's up? Greetings, PG and John. We are here and ready for more congrats on your 700th stream. Hey. Jim clap, Jim happy, Jim coffee sip. Oh, I, does, it, does it count as 700 episode or stream? I feel like it's episode. I'm having 700 episodes. Ah! <laughs> the, I don't know. The number says 700 on, on the, the VODs that we have in the archive. So there we go. Boom. Sir, what's up? Phoenix Monroe, thank you. Woo 60 FPS greatness. I'm loving it. <laughs> it does work. We actually we bought a new webcam and we had to beat it into submission because it was a law detect. And I still feel like it's not working. Like all the settings are completely different, yet still terrible. <laughs> So it's not me. Um, but there you go. We 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 jacked it up to sit a sit it frames a second because our internet seems to be smooth. Still. I'm looking at it offline, I'm not gonna clutter this up. You got your own little card chat. What up, PG? What's up? How's it going? You are not too tired yet, are you? Um, no, I'm fine. I think I think Steve had had a brain injury doing head banging yesterday. <laughs> I saw I saw the clip, it was funny. Dang it, Bobby. King of the Hill is being revived yeah. by Hulu, and yet not all of the original cast will return. How would they pull it off anyway? Ah, uh, the same the way they do it in every other thing. It's, uh, they'll just get other voice actors. Dude, they changed a bunch of people for Family Guy, and it was fine. Like, nobody cared. What's his name? Uh, the dude who did a Cleveland show. That's nasty. That guy. Yeah, he's not doing that anymore. They just replaced him with somebody else. You know how it goes. It's fine. Oh, wow. Here's the thing. We we actually for this for this stream we actually took the time and for those who've been keeping up we've been doing a lot of work this week we took the time to go back into the animations that we generally have and we in Flash 4.0 mind you go hi PG hey. and chat five moons thank you I appreciate Trish hi how's it going there you go yeah Rick and Morty will be changed too. We went back to, to the animation in Ye Olden Flash program, and we, surprisingly enough, that program can handle 60 frames a second, if not 1,000 frames a second. I am not even joking. This program was made in 1996. They, like, future-proof this thing. Of course, we had to go back and adjust the animations, because if we didn't, it would be, like, super jank. But, like, that guy right there, you got to fix that. Dude, that guy was freaking out. Um... Yeah, so we we did all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna slowly try to work on all the backgrounds too, and get those nat natively upgraded to sixty frames. It may take a while, so you know, not every stream is gonna be as smooth as this one. But we want to have something to at least look fancy for seven hundred. Seven hundred, and I like the chat card. Yeah, now Steve got one similar, but this one's better because it's cooler. Look, it's got a little derpy pumpkin. Pauline going like, "Hey, look, I'm smiling." Then you got your own little spot. And it's got candy in it. Oh, God, did the candy thing carry over? Hold on. Oh, God, thank God. These candies aren't 60 frames a second. This is this stream is unplayable. Uh, every, every gamer on Twitter right now. Uh, I can't play this. It's not 60 frames a second. It's totally unplayable. Dude. The, it's a good thing the hey. Futurama reboot will feature all of the it original is. cast yes. for the most part. But very excited for it. I am, too. Yeah, but as, as voice actors go for replacement, they're replacing uh, Rick and Morty because Roland's uh, basically a hemorrhoid on the planet right now. Um, go. PG, are you wearing makeup? You look more orange with the new camera. I do, right? I do look very orange, and it looks like it took some of my blemishes off. I don't know what this camera does. I feel like it's, it's AI adjusting my complexion. Maybe that's why streamers look so good all the time, you know? They, they always look like they have a vibrant skin tone and just no no marks on their face whatsoever, you know? And I'm just sitting here looking like a acne-filled pumpkin, just like, hey, guys. You know, it's kind of weird. What's up? Let me say hi to people. But uh, there you go. That was the introduction of upgrading stuff. It'll roll out. Not everything's going to look super spiffy all the time, but we'll, we'll try. Uh, yeah. You do a lot of work, say it isn't so. What's up? Let me say hi to people. Bloody Angel, hi. Furious Lady Beret, what's up? Uh, Sora, hi. Fun Pug Guy, what's up? How's it going? Henry is a minimum off, what's up? How's it going? Uh, Brandon, Dyfed, Phoenix, Monroe, Wonderland Mage, Lost Pixar, Fun Pug Guy. Anyone want to be my friend? 
I don't know you well enough to be your friend. What's up? Jesus, it is hard Where? to believe it's been 90 moons. I know, right? Dude, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Belly Dread Quill, thank you. Mizzell, what's up? Okay. Congratulations on 700. Yes. Here's to many more. Yeah, Steve has got to catch up, though. He's trying now. What did he do? Three streams this week? Yeah. I'm surprised people didn't start throwing rocks at him. He's not very likable. <laughs> Just saying. He's fun, but not likable. Is that even possible? Max Marvel, hi. Mm, Psycho Semantic, what's up? How's it going? No, can somebody be um, fun but unlikable? Maybe that guy from Jackass. <laughs> well, he's fun, but I wouldn't hang out with him, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, let's see. Bum, 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 Wonderland's like, yes. Um, no, but there was a cool game that Steve actually played. Um, for those who want to learn another language, dude, Earth Lingo. It's free on Steam. Essentially, it's they dump you in this little town, and you're an alien, and you have to like learn all these different languages, well, whichever language you choose, and you go around basically, you know, poking at things, and it'll tell you what it is and how it's pronounced, and then it actually quizzes you later in a fun way. I was actually, dude, that's a well done game. So what'd you learn? What'd you learn? You forgot. Oh, God. <laughs> good job. You ever, get, you ever get tested and then you draw a blank? Hey, what'd you learn in school? Uh, 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 das List. Oh, Metzger. That's the butcher shop. See? Das Metzger. Uh, let's see. Your seat looks almost velour with the new camera. Really? Do I, do I, does this, what is this, velvet? What? <laughs> what, really? I don't, I, I don't know. I didn't actually do, I didn't like off, sh off sh stream test runs, but going live, it's worth different. Greetings. Salutations and good vibes to all. I'm fun, but not really likable. The jokes I tell keep me unlikable, but I'm fun. There you go. Hey, Trilink gets it. 2023 has not been kind to the gaming world so far. No. We all know why. Knockout City was so underrated. Oh. It'll still be underrated when the private server's version will arrive this summer. Dude, you have no ideas. We, we did a search on how many games are going to be, like, taken down. Dude, 2023 is like the year of the Reaper. Yeah, literally, don't fear the Reaper. There's, oh God, the 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 short list, which is about 48 games, bro. Crossfire X, Crime Site, Rumbleverse, Battlefield Mobile, Apex Legends Mobile, Knockout City. Um, Ubisoft is getting rid of online support for like Just Dance uh, 2017, 18, 19. Oh God. Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Revelations, Assassin's Creed 3, Liberation, uh, Driver San Francisco, Far Cry 3, Ghost Recon Future Soldier, Prince of Persia, Rayman Legends, Silent Hunter 5, Space Chunky, Splinter Cell Blacklist, Zombie U for the Wii U, which I think all those are going down in like September or something like that. Then there's also like, uh, what, Dragon's Quest, Adventures of Die, a hero something or other um echo vr some game called love what love live school idol festival i don't know babylon's fall fuser and then ea is just slapping all their old sports games yeah what's worse is that sony is getting rid of the ps plus collection right. in may better acquire those games while they last exactly good reminder get them get them now i mean there hasn't been a lot of games released in the last three years yeah, I mean, God forbid we're able to play our older ones. I mean, I'm not going back to, like, FIFA 2015 for no apparent reason. But, you know, hey, I, I got to keep an eye on this Logitech camera. I, it, it better be 60 frames a second. You know, I don't want false advertising here. Am I bobbing up and down at 60? It says 60, but sometimes that's deceiving. Let's see. Yo, bro, don't be panda. Wake the hell up. Oh, God. 3DS and Wii U eShops closes March 27th. Yeah, those are all gone, too. Dude, it's crazy. And uh, I think Xbox 360. Go. I mean, dot E dot A. Taking all its sports games down. So just FIFA and mid games? I I don't know. I guess uh, I meant MMA, right? <clears throat> um, I, I guess. Or I don't know if their licensing runs out on older games or they're just like, everybody buy the new one. You know? 
But people used to go out of their way to get the older versions because the older versions were made better. Now it's just incremental updates and they push it out as a new game. So it's it's going to be dicey, you know. Um, and I think there was 40, what, 48 games getting delisted from the Xbox 360 era, uh, you know, shop. So I don't know. See if you can track down a list. And if you need something, pick it up. You'll still have access to it, but you won't be able to buy it after a certain date. So I'm like, my God, dude. And the dude who played Michael Myers in, um, yo, Halloween 4 and 6 passed away, too. I forget their name. Their name was uh, George Wilbur. Doesn't sound like the name of a serial killer, but he, he did a good job at it. George Wilbur, Wilbur, you know, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Look like around fifty nine. Oh my God, I'm only at fifty nine frames a second. Lawsuit. <laughs> and that's been like a that 3ds. We, yeah, that's all gone. I learned Apex Legends mobile. No, I know, right? That's going away too. I am really surprised that game did not do well on mobile. Apparently, it hasn't. I mean, a regular version is still going to be fine, and they're just like, "Hey, let's whatever, that's fine." But uh, the mobile version uh, didn't catch on, and apparently, neither did the Battlefield ver version. But Call of Duty Mobile is doing fine, you know, like pro. People dying left and right. We just lost the OG Wednesday Adams and Shirley from Laverne and Shirley. Yeah, and Michael Myers from Four and Six. Mm. And a multitude of other people I probably don't even know. Uh, I don't know any computer terms, but is 59 a good number? Yes. <laughs> Considering what we've been doing 30, it's fine. Mm -mm -mm. Bum, bum, bum. You're a good pump guy. It hasn't dropped one frame. Hey, you're right. There you go. Oh, God. Uh, I'm feeling especially proud of myself today. I made a breakfast sausage and American cheese uh, stuffed omelet for breakfast. Looks like it turned out great. Oh, nice. Experiments in the kitchen. Good job. Activision released the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games from PS2 on PS4 for about only one year before the license oh. gave out and are now unable to be bought in any form as they were digital only. Oh, good job, Activision. Hey, maybe that'll change once, uh, assuming Microsoft gets a hold of them. Because that would be cool, you know, because, uh, I don't know, Microsoft can bring back whatever Activision had. Like Skylanders. Bring back Skylanders. <laughs> Dude, I literally have a box of, of, like, all those old Skylander toys just sitting there. And it's like I can only play them on the 360 games, you know? Yeah. Damn it. No, I like the character Hex. They were all evil and dark. Oh, what's up? Zerochi, hi. Sipkin John. Just got back home from the store, making a meatloaf. Making meatloaf, making meatloaf, making meatloaf. Nice. There you go. Don made, we had like kind of breakfast burritos, but they were like actual burritos, like with meat. Das Meaten. What's up? Good afternoon, everyone. What's up? How are you today? So far, so good. Today is a day of tests and homework for business what? law. Oh. My teacher for this class is apparently of the mind that if you don't get a 100% on the test, you're failing. Um, that's a little obnoxious. I mean, I, I guess that weeds out the malcontents. <laughs> but, <laughs> wow. All right, good luck. You shouldn't be watching this then. Focus. Focus. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, yesterday I did a double feature. Thank you. Cloudy with a chance of pumpkins and, and the bad guys. Dude, I thought Cloudy with a chance of pumpkins. That's what I said. I got pumpkin on the brain. What's up? Hey, 29 moons is a load of moons, but 700 is hey. a bigger number, so I'll make this quick. Ha ha. Congrats. Hey, future. Less than three. Thank you. I appreciate I can't believe there's been like 700 episodes of me just talking about garbage. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, man. Dude, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs was actually a really good good uh, thing. It was, a, it was a good movie. I didn't like the second one. The second one felt like, hey, let's cash in. Uh, get, get an extra thing. It was the cash grab of meatballs. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I hated that little strawberry. I really did. Mm, it's a thank you. What's it? Mm. I just now noticed that when they say the word month, it sounds like the word moons. I say moons. I got my accent from New York. So it's moons. How many moons left in the year? <laughs> like when I say garbage. Go. Simpson did it 700 TH episode. Yeah, well, I don't have the budget of the Simpsons nor nor the people power. So guess what? I, I figured that's a win on my side. 
Hey, if The Simpsons only had one person behind the scenes, guess how many episodes it'd have done? Canceled. You're welcome. <laughs> so as far as I'm concerned, I'm better. <laughs> how do you yeah. do, pumpkin guy? Uh, doing all right. What? I'm just one person, bro. <laughs> bro, they got a whole studio. And they got writers, and they got talented voice actors, and animators, etc. Plus a budget. You know what my budget was, Chet? The $79 for the webcam. <laughs> Oh god. You tried doing doing what? How many how many streams? Seven seven hundred episodes on like a two hundred dollar budget. Uh now they got Disney money. Yeah, also Doctor Who's got Disney money, so expect that to go south real fast. They're gonna throw Mickey Mouse in there somewhere, I guarantee you. Evie, what's up? Mm, Doctor North, what's up? Cheers to that. Thank you. Ugh. I can watch. Took the test before you came on. Oh, good. Only had to take it twice to pass with the 100. Oh. I am now taking a break before I continue yes. with homework. Yes, awesome. All right, cool. Breaks are important. Breaks are important. Not only for your car. Um, Let's see. <laughs> Jim for president, pumpkin guy, VP. I, I feel like there'd be a conflict of interest there. No, because if you were president, you'd just be sitting there with a little sock puppet in your thing. Yes. I and Vice President Pumpkin Guy. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Dude, wouldn't that be like, it'd be like Mr. Garrison at the podium? <laughs> what do you think of other countries, Mr. Hat? <laughs> oh, stop right there. Uh, let's see. Wait, Disney bought Doctor Who? No, they heavily invested in it. They did a deal with uh, the BBC network. And essentially, they're just pumping a bunch of money into the series to give it like that big budget feel. But you know how that goes. Dude, once Disney's got the hand in your pocket, it's all over. It's all over. You just made a deal with the devil. Go. Hello, PG and chat. What's up? How is John doing? Um, what? Their, their headaches are right today, right? It's, it, there's still a little bit of fog. There's, there's a lingering fog. There's a lingering fog. Mm. Yeah, but that, that was not, not a good... And that was with medicine. Like, she was taking the medicine that she's supposed to take when she gets a migraine, and it was just still... You know? And the day before that, it was like, okay, we're going to turn off your power and internet for a while, even though it's negative six out, because uh, we got to repair something, apparently. I'm like, what? And it was ridiculous. Boom. Doom, 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 doom. Uh, Simpsons are now qualified as Kingdom Hearts characters. Technically, just throw them in there. Dude, I would, I would totally want, dude, I would play Kingdom Hearts if it had, uh, Homer Simpson in it. Just going around, oh, you know. Mm. And they gotta, they really gotta do, um, Simpsons Hit and Run game. They really gotta remaster that. I know there are, like, fan remasters happening, but... Uh, geez, I don't think they're ever gonna do that. I mean, it's like a beloved game. Nobody just, there uh, go. Hey, PG, Pauline, the Dawn, John, and Chat. How are you? Yeah. Can't stay long, but I wanted to wish you a happy 700th episode. Thank you, Steampunk Chick. What's up? I still got burrito in my throat. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you. I appreciate it. Enjoy the day. What's up? Negative 10 feels like negative 30 here. I feel like after negative, you just like, it's cold. You know? There are like people on TikTok and Instagram and everyone throwing water into the sky. Look, it's frozen. You know, and then the neighbor gets pelted with it, and they're like, what are you doing? Sorry, it was initially boiling water I threw at you. Wait, what? Speaking of weather in the negatives, Mount Washington Observatory in New Hampshire broke the record by having a wind chill of negative 108. All right, nice. I, that's pretty much you go outside, you die, right? Dude, negative 108? That's death, right? Like, I can't imagine blood being able to keep going at that. What happens when you're exposed to 100, negative 108 degrees? I guess, I guess we're doing Celsius, Fahrenheit, what? Mm. You die instantly. Why are my eyeballs frozen? I can't blink. Somebody put me near a furnace. Oh, God. See, that's what, that's what I'm telling you, man. Dude, nature wants you dead every day. Every day. Every day. Nature wants you dead. And here we are trying to protect it. Save the planet. The planet's going to kill you. That's what it does. Everything on the planet wants you dead. Space cold. Exactly, right? You joined the Polar Bear Club. Yeah, but I don't know if all your bits and pieces are coming out of that water. You know what I'm saying? 700. Yes, there we go. Nice. 
<laughs> oh god, did the no? Because we actually redid the whole scene. I don't know if the coffee cards traveled over. Because I do want coffee. Uh, fingers crossed. Hey, look at that! They actually turned up. It's beautiful there. <laughs> I'm in a goofy mood. I've had very little sleep, and I, I still have gallons of things to do today. I like that one. That was good. I've seen this one. <laughs> Gas will freeze at negative 40? Yo! Hello, and welcome to our new house. David! Keep your feet off the table. Hey! Hold on. Oh, I had coffee. Now I got to do the thing. Hey! David, give to the subcurve planet. Thank you! Thank you. Appreciate. That's a boop. Nice. I'm still drinking coffee. I'm. I'm getting there. I was. I was amazed by gas. You imagine your your gas. Your the car. Just everything freezes in it. Like your gas tank is just filled with a large gasoline ice cube. What do you do with that? Sorry. Sorry. I can't come in. Oh, what's your excuse now? My gas in the car is frozen. What? <laughs> They'd be like, bro, you lying. You lying. Gas doesn't freeze. No, dude, seriously. Mm. I had about three hours of sleep, went straight for 12 hour on call shift that ends at six to shopping with my mom this morning. Nice. There you go. You better grab coffee. Oh, God. Uh, how? Let's see. Uh, good for me. What diesel can kind of congeal in the cold. Oh, there you go. Really? So I guess there's a big difference. I don't know the difference between diesel and uh, gas. I know one you put in a car and one you put in other cars. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, dude, I'm not a car guy. I'm not a car guy in any capacity. What's up? Only know a few Fahrenheit numbers I know is 32 is zero and minus 40 is minus 40 on both. All right. At least we can agree on something at some point, right? Eventually, it just gets so cold that minus 40 is agreeable to everybody on the planet. <laughs> That's the only time we we agree with our, our numerical systems. Dude, it's negative 40. Roy, it is bleeping cold out here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's, that's our meeting point. We have to both be near death to agree on something. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. In some part of Russia, get minus 40 F plus so people don't shut off their cars and you need a heater. Really? Wow. That's crazy. Dude, we, we were like, dude, yo, the, the heat's been running like, oh, God, I just dropped the thing. All right, that's all right. It's just a fruit bar. Um, dude, the heat has been running constantly. Our sinuses are janked right now. I haven't been this, this dry since, like, I got lost in the desert. Like, bro, I'm like, this is insane. I, I, like, why? Oh, God. I know it's really cold out, but, bro, can't be, I don't know. It's like, you know, when you live in a building, people just, boom, let's turn on the heat, and it just keeps going on forever. And then sometimes it's like, ah, whatever, no heat. Uh, Biofuels are even more likely to get gel up in the cold. Diesels usually have a reservoir by the engine to warm the fuel and circulate it to the tank. Oh, nice. Yeah, once the car gets warmed up, it's all right. Wow, I can't believe they got to keep cars running just to make sure. Oh, yeah, keep the car running so that it doesn't freeze. Wait, what? Huh. Strange. 700 episodes. No fanfare. No, this is it. We don't, we're not really big on milestones here. You know, I don't know why. It's like, I, I feel like, you know, oh, hey, way to go. You did 700 episodes. Cause I, I don't know. When, once you get to a milestone, you're like, look what I did. Yeah. You know? I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Hey, you, everybody do that when we're dead and be like, wow, they did like, you know, 12,000 episodes. It was crazy, you know? Um, but I mean, I don't, I'm not, yay. Yeah. You know? It's like, if anything, I do it as a reminder to thank people. Like, thank you for supporting, you know, that kind of thing. So, I don't know, fanfare. Let's, let's do more fanfare. Hey. This guy is zooming around a lot. Dude, that's 60 frames a second zooming around. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. No, there was, um, who was it that said? It was actually really good. I think it was Michael Jackson that says, you know, awards are great and everything, but it's like, if you look at that as your goal, once you reach that goal, there's no reason to keep trying to improve, you know? So it's like, you know, they're cool and everything, but it's like, dude, we got more to do. Yeah. It's like, thanks. Go, let's go. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think it was them, you know? Like after they won like a Grammy or something, you know? 
They didn't want to rest on their laurels and be like, look what I did. I already got a Grammy, so whatever. You know. Uh, do you do kilometer stones? No, no. I just I do miles, miles. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Three hundred more Iron Pumpkin guy can quit at a thousand. To do what? What am I gonna do? You know, I get bored. Uh, what kind of store are you in? A very blurry, almost record store. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is. It's got neon. Uh, Paulini's moving fast too. Yeah, we actually went back into the animations and upgraded them kind of to sixty frames. We're still working it out because we're we're not used to working with that, and you have to space out the actual framework a little bit more, or it gets all weird. So it's going to be something we got to refine. Mm, are you not in borders? Borders is closed <laughs> forever. Uh, if you have floor vents, use a thin metal bowl with water in it. Should slowly vaporize and add a bit of humidity to your air. My space heaters have water uh, pans for the same reason. That is an excellent idea. Thank you. I didn't think about that. Remember Calvin and Hobbes? They knew Ty had their mark and ended the story. Still very awesome. Yes. Calvin and Hobbes was amazing. Bro, hey, use your Foreman grill little drippings pan and fill that with water and put it by the thing. You get some humidity in the room. We have a Foreman grill. They were, those are very good. We made chicken the other day with them. It still works, you know? Nice. PG still got three years before a thousand episodes. Right. So much could change by then. Yeah. What, Steve could take over the world and turn everybody into vampires. <laughs> I kind of doubt it, but uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Dun -dun. Hi, Beam. Thank you. Thank you. I miss Borders. Borders was nice. Yeah. I always liked Borders instead of Barnes & Noble, but apparently Barnes & Noble got a lot better. No, literally, the new CEO basically gutted everything and made it more community-based. So, like, the workers in there who actually have a passion for books are the ones supposedly running the place instead of corporate. Allegedly. I haven't been to one in forever, so I don't know. You must have gotten a good foreman. Mine sucks. <laughs> foreman? But the foreman grill no it's a, a we i think we actually got it used i mean we had to s scrub the hell out of those grates but for like chicken oof well we use uh the thin slice thin slice chicken and then we just toss it on there because it cooks up real fast it's like three minutes it's amazing mm. bring back haze things no eh, a lot of stores are closed did you hear Netflix re retracted the statement about their password sharing stuff about how you can log in every 30 days and watch something on your account gets locked out if you share stuff with other people? Yes, that was mentioned on uh, Steve's stream. And I was like, good. Because <clears throat> here, here's what I feel like Netflix realized in doing that, right? Aside from ticking people off, if... Password sharing ceased to exist, right? Do you realize what their viewership numbers would look like? And when you present those viewership numbers to stockholders, all that's going to tank. Thanks for the follow. Like, everyone, wait, what do you mean you had, wait, last quarter you had 100 million people watching. Now you only have 32. What happened? Oh, screw this. I'm selling my stock. You know, like they got to report that stuff and whether it's in their best interest or not, they're doing it just to cover their butt. You know, they might do it in certain regions. I think they said in like Argentina or Chile or something like that, they're going to try a test program with that. Um, but that's not going to have a big impact. It's not going to be like doing it in the States or the UK or wherever, you know. Yeah. Mm, but Netflix is covering your butt by saying it was a mistake and it was... Uh was posted i don't believe that for a second no they heard the backlash and then somebody probably said you realize our viewership for everything is going to be cut in a quarter right you know 100 views is going to turn into 10 like quite literally and i, I know it's like yeah at jim others did you hear we lost the last adams last week yep the woman that played the original wednesday died not like this not like this yeah they were they were older but not super old they were like 65 i think 64 61 I don't know. That was kind of a thing. You know, it's like ah, crazy stuff happens. It happens, man. Probably a year or two. Yeah. I don't know. Thank you. Mm, stockholders. Yeah. You, hey, imagine being a stockholder and then hearing that and then freaking out. 
Like, hey, why did our stock drop however many points? John Aston's still alive? John Aston's still alive? Get out of here. Really? At 93, yes! Oh, dude, I gotta tweet them and tell them that they're awesome. Just, do they have a Twitter? I, I don't know if they would have a Twitter. He's 93 in March, my boy! My boy, John Aston's still alive! What is John Aston famous for? Um, he played a mad scientist in Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Go. I'm surprised Starbucks still going. Their coffee is terrible. Last time I got a mocha, I swear it was chocolate water with coffee flavor. Mmm. I haven't been there in years, so I wouldn't even know. Would they really want to have a Twitter in the state of the world today? Um, no, but uh, you know what? Here's the thing. What you were done, we're talking about just Twitter in general, and I feel like it's it's they're just like this it's so weird there like there's so much potential but the user user base just kind of messes it all up i'm not gonna get into it because it ends up getting weird but whatever sorry hi what's up other sora what's up <laughs> depends on the starbucks the one near me actually put out pretty nice coffee really so i guess it's a uh, hit or miss right maybe you got them on a bad day it's like when you try to get a milkshake at a flipping mcdonald's and it's awful well. He at 93 will try to explain to everyone that a pumpkin is tweeting them on their cellular device. Lol. That would be, uh, yeah, man. Maybe I can send him a handwritten letter, you know? Is there a John, a John Aston fan club that I should be part of? No, nah, man, you got to appreciate what they, because here's the thing is like, as everyone gets on an age, you don't realize that it's like, oh man, I probably should have said, you know, dude, you're awesome, that kind of thing. You know, because it's like, you know, we don't think about that. We just, you know, picture them being there forever because every time we see them on TV, they never age because it's basically, you know, a moment in time. And you're just like, hey, that guy, okay. you know, and it's like, oh, wait, they died. And you're like, wait, I just saw him on the television yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that was from 1965, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Dun, 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 dun. Speaking of Twitter, is that drama over Hogwarts Legacy still going? I don't know. I don't keep up with it. You know? I feel like if people want to play a game, they can play a game. If they don't want to play that game, then they don't play that game. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I'm not going to get involved with the uh, ramblings of an old author. Just, meh. Uh, mm, what is? Uh, love coffee, coffee, coffee cats with K's. Nice. Uh, they're cheaper than Starbucks even with putting CBD. Really? Oh, God, there's CBD coffee? Don't ruin my coffee but trying to mellow me out. That's not what his coffee is for. Coffee is to keep me on my my sharp, razor-like edge yelling of anger. God. No, man, mellow out. Have some coffee. Get out of here! Table flip. It's optional, you know? Well, I don't care. <laughs> what drama about legacy? Oh, uh, you know, Rowling's, you know, has a mouth, apparently. Um... What's this I hear about YouTube potentially taking back money from demonetized videos? Um, I don't think that's going to be a thing. I don't think they could, what, maybe recently ones, but I don't think they could go back in the archive because guess what? All the ones we had that were demonetized are basically off the site. So, I don't know. If they if they want to take money, the, the seven cents we made from that one Steve video, then sure, you, you can you can take the seven cents. That's my seven cents, man. Google needs this money. <laughs> Uh, go. Did you hear the new drinks that Panera now have more caffeine than anything that's out now? 350 milligrams. Monster 85 milligrams or double espresso 100 milligrams. Panera, nobody needs that much caffeine. And unless you're traveling to Mars and you can't fall asleep in space, okay? Like there there's there's no reason for that much. Because at, at a certain point, you're going to end up reaching the stage where you're like, all right, well, uh, uh, it has the adverse effect, reverse effect, and puts you to sleep. That's insane. 350 milligrams, that's like close to getting, a, you know, cardiomyopathy and just having to go to the doctor or something, you know. Uh, and it's right next to the non-caffeine drinks. Yeah, read your labels. <laughs> go. I'm reminded of your old foamy episodes about Star Schmucks hey. when he pointed out how the caffeine content was being used to addict customers away from better coffee houses. Yep. I mean, I, it's Timmy legit. Timmy needs that amount of caffeine. Timmy. There you go, Timmy. Now you know where to get it. 
Max amount of caffeine a human should consume in a day is like 400 to 450. Yeah, so imagine having like three of those cups of coffee. Because we drink like three cups of coffee a day at least. Well, I got to be true to my world. Word, hold on. Yeah, there was a lady who worked there who drank five of those a day until she noticed it. Hmm. Why does it look like she's sniffing the pumpkin? <laughs> she's like, this doesn't smell right. <laughs> uh, what's up? Um, yeah, so, I mean, dude, that's a lot. 350 milligrams is a large cup. Dude, that's crazy. 2,100 milligrams is lethal. I remember there was one time where I drank so much caffeine, I had to, like, sit down because I was just like, brrr, like you could feel it buzzing throughout your system. It literally made me lightheaded, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to sit down. It was one of those things where you feel so nauseous, you have to focus on a point on the floor before you pass out. Yeah. But we're all right. Definitely too much caffeine. Uh, let's see. I actually got to see a balloon while it was over. Oh, the the balloon. The balloon. Yeah. And, I, I, th and I'm not going to get into the politics over it, um, but it was kind of funny <laughs> because people are like, of course, in China, they're like, I think you overreacted, you know? I don't see what the problem is. It was just a balloon. I'm like, and, okay, overreacting for us, this is our, you know, this is how we respond to things. So if anything, it sends out a delightful message that if a balloon crosses our border, we will shoot it down with a fighter jet. <laughs> you know, dude, I mean, that's that's quite, that's insane. Oh, America is overreacting. Really? You had to set out, a, <laughs> set out a fighter jet for a balloon. Yeah, why not? We got the equipment. Let's show it off. <laughs> uh, what? Well, it, at least they know now. Yeah, you know, they, they do kind of take things seriously. Go. Hey, pumpkin guy and chat. 43 moons and I was able to survive the negative 17 yes. degree weather, not even factoring wind chill. Also, interesting discussion to come into. Hey, what's going on? You're a librarian. Hope you do well. Yeah, those are good times. Good times. I know everyone's so, like, paranoid about the balloon and stuff. It's like, I, I generally don't care. I just... I'm taking the approach as in it's out of my control, out of my control. It's out of my control. I'm not going to waste my life on it. Yeah. I'm going to do I'm, I'm going to deal with the things that are in my I'm going to stress myself out about stuff I have control over. Like, you know, my health, my bills and things like that. Everything else is like, you know, oh, there's a balloon. <laughs> OK. <laughs> No, because I pay taxes. That's part of the things I have control over, and those taxes should basically go to fighter jets that want to explode balloons on the free, in their free time. Um, mm, did the government shoot down the Roswell ship? I have to say it like Dale Gribble. Of course they did. You know it's a UFO conspiracy, and there's parts all over the place. That's how we got cell phones, alien technology. As ancient alien theorists believe. <laughs> oh, good. Somebody's got to do a little comic strip where, like, a kid lets go of their balloon and it goes flying up in the air and all of a sudden it gets shot down by, like, an F-15. <laughs> Mommy, my balloon. Nope. Government's going to get up. Whatever. Why would the Chinese spy on America? They already have TikTok. <laughs> and satellites that are more powerful than a weather balloon. Yeah. So excited the King of the Hill is coming back. Yes. Hopefully they won't mess it up. I'm tentatively excited, you know? I mean, it brought back Beavis and Butthead, and I was kind of like, yeah, it's all right, you know. Flamethrowers are legitimate root control. Yeah, but it also kind of ruins the paint. Mm. Jimbo, it's coming It's coming right for us. It's coming right for us. Oh, God. Mm. Pocket sand. Cha-cha-cha. Mm. Do mean about the, what, German balloon? It was a beer-shaped balloon. Honestly, the best meme I saw about the balloon was a little Winnie the Pooh tied to a balloon with binoculars. <laughs> I was like, no, because they're like, this just in, picture of the Chinese balloon, and it's just Winnie the Pooh with <laughs> binoculars tied to <laughs> Oh, it's it's classic. It, it was really clever because, you know, there's that whole thing. Um, let's see. It's on Hulu. 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 Aren't they rebooting Futurama again? Well, they're bringing it back. It's just been a slow roll. We haven't heard crap about it. You know? mm. uh, uh, uh. 
George Carlin, you know the motto of this country should be, if it flies, shoot it down. See? Timeless comedy. Mm. Somebody's got to make a George Carlin AI response system. Because I feel like most of her responses to what's happening now would still be relevant, even though they were done like 20, 30 years ago. Uh, allegedly, yeah, Otto, I, I don't think they're going to do anything. Go, yeah, what's up? Apparently, Nintendo won the ongoing Joy-Con lawsuit. Why? No, oh, for the drifting? How did they win that? It drifts. Oh, God. Ugh. I didn't even look into that. Uh, food being delivered by a balloon. Maybe. Mm. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, it's like, what? Uh, I like the smooth animation and make Shrieky look like he's uh, on Panera's Lemonade. Ooh, there he is. There he goes. Yeah, God, we got so many upgrades to do for the past animations that we have. It's going to be insane. We'll try. We'll try to get one done a week. You know, it's this way we can do a slow roll. George Carlin was alive today. His head would explode and we'd have a four-hour special. Hey, I'd be fine with that. I don't know why I'm asking, but have you had a chance to hear any new albums from Vile Velo, former him frontman, Neo Noir? No, I haven't. Actually, I didn't even know that came out. That came out? Oh, write it down. Dude, write it down. Write it down. We got to see it. Hear it. With our ears. Go. I think George Carlin covered it in one of his last shows. It's all bad for you. Yeah, it's all bad for you. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Uh, we have a four-hour special every week, just saying. Oh, uh, yeah, kind of. <clears throat> mm, good news is now you can buy what? Uh, thank you. Uh, Hall Effect Joy-Con upgrades. Oh, nice. There you go. 34 moons. Hey, 34 moons. Chaotic Panda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. That's quite wonderful. Familiar sound, but very 80s. Nice. Dude. Oh, dude. Speaking of movie, uh, what music? Dude, the band Dope. <laughs> dude, remember that band Dope? Yeah, they just came out with a new album. And I'm like, what? Like, I, I don't know. It's like one of those bands that were on my radar and then they stopped. And then I'm like, dude, they're still around. Dude, it's crazy. There was a couple other weird albums that are just, like, floating around. Dude, Depeche Mode is still around. I don't know how, but they're supposed to be releasing an album relatively soon. But, I don't know. I don't know if that's good or not. God, who is it? Oh, oh, Avenged Sevenfold. They're working on another album. I don't know if that's good. But Sum 41, they're working on another album. Dude, Sum 41 have gotten really good over the years. They've gotten progressively better. Yeah. Who? The band Dope. They did a, a metal version of uh, You Spin Me Right Round, like a record. That one. I'm still waiting for that new Distillers album and the new album by The Cure, damn it. And then. Oh! Out of my neck, Wedge. Gifted subs. Uh, where, where's my thing? Where is it? I pressed it. There it is. Hey, Ace of Dimes and Chaotic Jet. You got to sub. Thanks to the Art of Our Neck Punch. Thank you. Thank you. Boop. Yeah. Mm. Dude, I want my new Cure album. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. Another reason to be depressed. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Let's see. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, Flog and Molly and Anna Flag on Friday. Nice. There you go. Bum, bum, bum. Did they ever fix the drift on Joy-Con controllers? I don't know. It's like, uh, dude, so many controllers have drift issues now. It's just kind of like, bleh. New Cure album. COVID now. I don't think that's going to be... Uh, that'd be a weird title, make an album. But uh, there's also... Supposed to, so, blah, 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 blah. There's also... Why can't I speak my words with face 60 frames a second? There was also supposed to be... Uh, what, the new Morrissey album got like tied up in record limbo right now. I don't know. I don't know if that's ever going to get released now. I'm not even joking about it. It's just sitting there. You know? Next Cure album will be less depressing than the last one. I, I, that's not what I expect from The Cure. <laughs> Every album has got to be progressively more depressing. Uh, come on, man. I need something to sit in my room and cry about stuff. <laughs> mm -mm, dun, 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 dun. Dude, I, I like albums that are very dark and just very like... <sighs> A lot of people don't like it because you're like, dude, it's so sad. You know, it's like, come on. Dude. 
Got to get in touch with the darkness. Hmm. I'd be real ticked if Nintendo used what Tears of the Kingdom to push new console. It's not physically possible to fix it because they are using cheap sticks. Unless they pay for better joysticks, it will always happen. Yeah, but I don't want that. But They're expensive. Boys don't try. What? Did you just assume gender? <laughs> Robert Smith, please. Oh, God. Mm. What? I don't know. Could be a thing. Uh, thank you, thank you. I uh, need something to cry about. Watch the news for more than 10 minutes. I don't bother with the news. It's out of my control. This happened. That happened. Everything's falling apart. The, the what? The country's going down the tubes. Or, old Again, old George Carlin bit. It's always been going down the tubes. <laughs> Oh, man. Mm. Yeah, but, okay, like, wh how expensive are these these decent parts that you would have to put into a controller to stop drifting? Happy Sunday, PG. Zatara, thank you. 1,000 bits, 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 bits. Happy Sunday. Thank you, Zatara. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Yes. What? I'm happy about that. I'm going to I'm gonna get the Cure album with that money when, when it comes out. <laughs> I gotta be holding on to that forever. Thank you, I appreciate. It. Does each state need its own tube? What what kind of tube? No, it it well maybe they do. I don't know. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's got their own tube. Um, yeah, but well, I mean, how expensive is that little part to stop drifting? I love giving you bits. Thank you, Zatara. I appreciate. Thank you. Speaking of good music, the music for new Mario Kart tracks are really good. Uh, how do they expect to concentrate on racing when there are some amazing tracks to dance to? Uh -oh. For the hype. Mm the hype oh god hype train hey uh why isn't that showing up over there bro ah oh. no you, you had to adjust chat so it shows shows the the hype train when it goes we we didn't do that all right well we know got to fix it i couldn't map that out offline because it didn't where does it go it goes there okay so uh two lines up from where we have it cut so all right good all right i'll try to have that fixed for next time damn it level two go uh Bum, bum, bum. Thank you, Lost Pixie. Mm, bum, bum, bum. Ash, I'm strong. Hot. What's up? Um, what was the other weird thing? Ow. My face was going to say words about stuff. Um, AI. All right. No, because I know Steve covered it, but for people who are here just Sundays, dude, there's AI Seinfeld. And it's technically not legally called Seinfeld, but it's on there. AI Seinfeld. For those who don't know, it is a Twitch channel called, uh, I think it's called Watch Me Forever, right? It is these weird, blocky, Seinfeld-esque characters. Now, the entire script and everything is written by AI constantly. Go. Derailed PG with the hype train. Yeah. Ha, 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 there you ha, go. Ha, ha. Did it. So it's constantly going on, constantly, all the time. And it's always writing new things. It's not very good as far as humor goes, but it's very interesting to see what AI is doing and how somebody is using it. There was literally a crappy show out there written by AI being run 24-7 forever. What? I ever see what? Uh, from what I've been hearing, there is only one company that is making potential save you. Oh. Thank you. Appreciate. Oh, that was from somewhere else. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Choice X for nearly every company making video game controllers, and that is why every company has controller drift issues at the moment. What? Then get a different manufacturer. So it is one comp. Wait, there's one place, essentially one place, making those little pent pent pentiometers, pot potentiometers. What I can't even say that word. Potentiometers. That's the problem. Is this one company? If bro. <laughs> Hello, pumpkin guy. What's up? Jim in chat. Happy Sunday and hype train bits. Hop train bits. Thank you, Icarus. I appreciate. It. Thank you, hop train. Ooh. I actually watched the AI Seinfeld channel for a little while. It's not exactly funny, but it's intriguing to see how coherent the dialogue is. It, it is. Well, for a little while. And then sometimes, I mean, it does sound like just very awkward conversations. Like, there's this new place. We should go there and try their things, you know? And I got to tell you, if you have uh, medicinals ready, you know, at, 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 at the whim, um, that's something you could just kind of chill to and just be like... <laughs> Yeah. You know? It's it's just so bizarre, man. It really is. For the PG cult. Hey, PG cult. Well, I'm not a cult. I'm not a cult. Shh. 
AI-generated text is far easier to get consistent and reliable than AI art. That's yeah. for sure. Text follows more rules. Oh, there you go. See, I didn't know that. I haven't read of the Switch Lite having drift issues yet. Something about the controllers being slightly different? At least I hope that's the case. Nice. Thank you. I wait for the day you read slash hear the news headline AI writers quit and have better unions than the humans that wrote them. Yeah, pretty much. Because, you know, there, there are going to be, and there there is literally an AI robot handling legalese right now. Um, dude, you get a robot lawyer to represent AI? You guys are done. Hey, hype train. Cool. Hey, there you go. We're almost at level three. 81 percent uh lowest bid wins day to hardware manufacturers oh god i never understood that whether it's military contracts or just putting a, a game console together we're gonna be the lowest bidder we can do it this cheaply where do you think cut corners get cut god that doesn't make any sense i want the bidder who's gonna be like we're gonna do this it's gonna be a little bit more than the lowest bidder but it's gonna get done right you're not going to have to worry about class action lawsuits for drift issues and all that other stuff. We're going to do this, and we're going to do it right, but it's going to cost you. That's the manufacturer I want. I'd rather pay an extra $10 for a controller if I know I don't have to buy four of them within a year. You know? I mean, quite literally. Dude, I would get... Yo, if Xbox said, look, here's a new controller. It won't have drift issues for an extra 10 bucks, 70 $80. Here you go. Oh, sure, take it. Because I've had to buy, like, and I don't play games a lot. I've had to buy, like, three or four controllers over the year. Because I'm like, why is this drifting? And, yeah, that might be my fault. I'm hitting the stick a little hard. You know, that kind of thing. But it's supposed to be durable, you know? <sighs> there you go. Hey. There we go. Hey, we did it. Level two. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We did it. Yay. Woo. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't have a hype train thing going on there. Damn it. That's what we need. We need an uh, animation thing so we can... I want to make my own train. Hey, Farrell and Gifted. Well, I've got a bunch of subs for reasons. Uh, who got subs? Uh, Jalot, you got a sub. Uh, Michael, you got a sub. Wild Peony, you got a sub. Sit a hell of her. You got a sub. And uh, the Necrodancer, you got a sub. Thanks to Farrell Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, uh, hey, subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up? Warlock, thank you. Congrats for the 700 episodes. Oh. Just wanted to thank you for the wonderful entertainment. Thank you. Keep up the wonderful work. I'm Please. trying. I'm trying, even though society tries to keep and me down. And it's not just in the realm of technology. I have to buy very specific niche shoes because the common brands fall apart after six months. Right. The ones I buy last two years and cost as much as two sets of six months. Oh, God. Yeah. Net savings for Zod. Nice. I heard on the radio that there is a class action lawsuit against Instagram. The case stating Instagram caused body image issues, people to become addicted to Instagram, oh. and caused eating disorders. I was like... People will sue for anything. Um... Oh, God. What? People looking at Instagram are having body image issues? Well, it, that was the same thing back in the day with fashion magazines when you saw all these crazy models with, like, perfect bodies and stuff like that. And half of the Instagram people are just using Photoshop. Dude, you want to have, you know, better pictures, just Photoshop your butt out if you need to or make it larger like most people do. It's all Photoshopped. <laughs> Don't worry about your body image, you know? It's all filters and crap, you know? I guarantee you, you take all those filters away from, like, 90% of the people out there... You know, they're still going to look I normal. I mean, they do use psychologists to addicted people to their apps. Oh, well, then the same could be said for gaming and, you know, those <laughs> slot machine style microtransactions and uh, free to plays. You know, but I mean, here's the thing. You know, honestly, we should all be smarter than psychiatrists at this point. What? Dude, because ma ma manipulating somebody is, is fairly easy, at least in my mind. You know, you figure out what makes them tick, and then you can kind of just generalize that. And the thing is to not use that against them. That's, that's well, that's maybe the problem. Yeah. Well, then he's a very bad psychiatrist, you know? No, it's just like, wouldn't you be aware that, like, oh, look, they want me to keep spending money? Like, I see some gnats up there. Get, they're in gnats. 
This is not good. I don't like it. No, I just noticed them. <sighs> All right, we, we're going to have to do this. No, man, because, hey, we got to do it live. What? Now they're gone. No, now they're there. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, here, here's the thing. Uh, oh, God. I haven't had to do this live with this camera. Oof. Give me a second. Thank you. Nope. Oh, geez. All right, let's see how this works. I, I can't see if there's gnats. Hold on. Use the algorithm against them. Yeah, I mean, like, dude, you just... Uh, Hold on, I gotta get rid of these things. They're hurting my face. No, that's worse. No, that's worse. No, that's terrible. No, that's no. Is that all right? My preview window is very small. I can't tell. Ah. Uh. No, that's the point. They know how to do it, so you don't notice. Uh, now I'm not as green. Now I'm not as vibrant as I used to be. I'm not as vibrant. Uh. All right, whatever. We'll just we'll just have to roll with it. Eh. Hey, again, again. You know, it's kind of oh. Now I feel like I'm a normal normal color. I'm not iridescent. That is lovely. This is lovely. I like it. Um, let's see. So that's the point. Bump, bump, bump. I want to see a romance written by an AI. I am kind of curious how stilted the dialogue would be. Oh, I'm sure somebody's gotten something out there. Yeah. You know? Uh, what's the point? And here's the thing. We were thinking about writing a, bun a bunch of books. Do I even bother now? Writing a book takes a lot of time. Yeah. Should we bother? Do we bother? Would I bother? Bother. I don't know if it's even uh, worth doing right now, you know? The colors the colors hurt my eyes. The eyes. Well, just close your eyes. Listen, listen to the soothing, docile tones of my voice. That's right. Welcome, one and all, to the Pumpkin Guy stream. Today is Sunday. Partly cloudy with a chance of freezing your butt off. The gasoline in your tank may freeze. I think oh. to write it for you. Um, no, but then I feel like that's I'm, I'm not writing it. I'm basically putting a blurb in there, and then it's like I don't take the journey of creativity. I just let the robot do it. Do you realize how, how kind of just, like, lame that is? Here I had this idea. Let the robot flesh it out. I don't care. Whatever. I got another idea. I mean, that would make my workflow a lot easier, but... Oh, God. Mm, thank you. Ow, ow. That was my neck. Uh, did you hear about the guy people on Twitter decided to hate on? All they did was pay a thou for a thousand live people to get their eyes fi Wait. Wait. How is that even a thing? Wait, somebody paid? That can't be a real thing. Somebody paid to have... Blind people get their eyes fixed? What, like, it's a possibility to? And what, people are complaining about it? What does that mean? Doesn't make any sense. Uh, made Ispogero Carbonara today. Nice. Mm, people have a lot of fun using AI voice software to make deep fakes out of famous people, having them say really absurd stuff. Yeah, we got a program for that. It doesn't work as well as I would like to. So do they have, like, a high-end one that I don't know about? Because I'd like it. I would like that. It would be fun. I'd have fun with it. You, know? you mean Mr. Beast? And yes, it's real. It is real? So somebody is trying to help blind people and people are complaining about it. Uh, all right. You know what? Close your eyes for about 20 years and see how you feel. God. Uh. Yesterday, I had smoky bones delivered. I wanted a steak medium well. What I got was raw egg, a, a blue steak, Blech. which means it was cooked for one minute on each side. Disgusted me so much I'm off beef. Ah, uh, you're off beef for a while. Yeah, that happened to me with cheese once. <laughs> Don't ask. It's crazy. Go. How about an AI topic prompter? You give it a range of combinations and it uses sentence logic to put together combinations that make sense. And then a real writer decides if the idea is worth running with. Um... Yeah, they already did that. Like an AI, what, an AI, uh, that's one of the things they did. Hollywood had an AI basically come up with a bunch of things. And I got to tell you, they, they seem pretty generic. Like, you know, girl discovers they have superpowers. And, you know, after tragedy learns they have to, you know, save the planet, overcoming obstacles and, you know, accepting themselves, as, you know, those kind of things. Very cliched garbage. So, yeah. It's not there yet, but it will be. Mm. 
So, hey, hey, where's that AI? The AI software, tell me. Yeah, there's a new software that sounds virtually undetectable to real persons alive or dead. It's kind of creepy. What is it, Brandon? I need names. So the AI robots, I was considering about people using it to write research papers for the degrees. How can they prove plagiarism if it's copied from anything? Um, well, the chat GPT is actually giving, um, hold on. Combine Jerky Boy's material with AI rework. I'd pay to hear that. Oh, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Um, no, but they're giving uh, teachers access to a tool that allows them to kind of scan papers to see if uh, AI was actually used. I don't know how, but apparently that exists. The AI Christmas story with animation was freaking hilarious. There you go. Considering my hands come out. No, because I got to catch up on the AI programs. I just have the art one sitting in a computer. If I can get one for writing and stuff like that, I want offline. I don't want to be using servers. Um, you know what I mean. Uh, there is an interesting study that says that people born blind never developed schizophrenia, but it was diagnosed only those who acquired blindness. Huh. Interesting. I guess uh, nature nurture kind of thing, right? Uh, where's that software? Brandon, look it up. I need answers. I wouldn't mind all the CEOs in the video game industry being replaced by chat GPT. Yeah, so maybe you'll get a good story for a game, right? Hold my call. Let's see. Uh, Error rots are considered about people using it to write research. Oh, read that. Uh, read that. Heard it, but I didn't watch it. Coffee. Boom. Oh, she's drinking coffee. I should, too. I should drink coffee. Because here's what I could do, right? Chat, you ready? It's called Elvin Labs. Elvin Labs. <laughs> Let me write it down. Oh, oh, you'll see. Hold on. I'm literally writing it down. I figured out what we're going to do for the next week. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. It's all about the writing style. The teacher can upload a paper written by the student and the eye paper and compare speech patterns and writing style. I It would be very, very, all right, here's the thing, though. Because a smart kid would actually write a bunch of papers that he already had, you know, that they already had, right? So you use, you make a data set with your own writing style and then get the AI to write papers for you. Because you already know you have a bunch of AI ready material for a data set you're welcome kids no e levine what 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 is it then e levine what e11 e11 all right well i i gotta figure it out now i'll look it up i'm sure it'll it'll happen we get the AI right it and you change it enough to match your style. Well, the other's that too. Um, eleven. Okay, thank you. I'll look it up. Um, because here's what I'm thinking. You ready? You ready for this chat? Here's what we do, right? Because I can't do enough work. I'm not. I'm not. I remember. Um, but we got gallons of ideas. But hypothetically, I would love to see get some deep fake voices going using our own voices because we, we have a multitude we got some that we haven't even used yet right and then try to get it create a story and then have that that voice thing that we created to just do a thing and see what happens because i feel like it would be fun i i don't feel like it's gonna ex you know accentuate certain words properly but i think it would be kind of fun it'll be fun mm. bum, 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 bum. But you are saying the students have existing material to work with. Well, I would. Because at some point before, you know, they got a hold of this. So yeah. AI is taking a step forward to idiocracy. Oh, yeah. People are going to be dumb as bricks. Yeah. And then everyone that you, everyone that makes made fun of, like, the, the old people, all the young people, they're going to be like, eh, we're making fun of you, blah, 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 blah. Okay. You know what's going to happen? At a certain point, the content that's me that's made, like tutorials and stuff, are going to be bombastic nonsense. 
and they're going to be created by AI. Here's an AI tutorial on how to fix A, B, or C. My God, yeah, like, yeah, and those are going to be completely wrong, right? So then they're going to be like, oh, old people, how do we do this again? Because <laughs> you guys actually learned. What am I doing wrong? Everything. Uh, I know it's going to be weird. Oh, the other thing AI did, the AI documentary about the battle for Los Angeles, which is like a UFO documentary. Uh, look up the trailer. They actually have like a host for it. Can AI in a logic loop and get that AI to paint a picture? I am kind of curious. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like AI for me would be perfect because I have a literally 20 30 years of creative material i could give it to use as a data mine right or a data set so it can mine that data create a data set based on our work so i'm not taking anybody else's work and then it can literally turn out work that is in my style faster than i could do you know that's when it's going to be useful that's when it's going to be fun you know, because then you can literally have one person studios that make a multitude of things. And you just need that one organic individual who's being, you know, basically chained down by limitations. And this is a thing that can literally bust that open, break the chains, you know, and just be able to put out stuff that's hopefully they would review and not be like, oh, yeah, here's a new novel by whatever. Blah, blah. OK, whatever. Oh, yeah, I know there's a hundred thousand misspellings, but who cares? What about this one? Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Mm, but will it be any good? Well, that's the thing. You'd have to refine it over time. So, you now it's not going to be 100% any all of the time, but for like little things, like, you know, hey, the coffee cards that pop up here, it's like, dude, am I going to have, have somebody make those like every single day? No. Mm, uh, for a better look at the AI tech, I recommend looking at uh, Moist Critical's uh, channel, Penguin Zero. He gives a good description of the tech, and I'm not sure if it's uh, free, though. Yeah. Then John will have to destroy his creation, but can't do to its learning. Oh, no, oh God. Can you imagine having an argument with an AI version of yourself? Ooh, dun, 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 dun. I'd be fine with that. Who wouldn't want a little robotic rogue AI running around the planet just yelling at people for being stupid? I would love that. I feel like that should be put out immediately. Like, just a robot that is super, you know, cynical, but 100% logical as to why people are acting like idiots you know literally yell at them but not be wrong <laughs> yeah the opposite of twitter um let's see then i read that uh read that uh let's see just like current kids can rank cursive anymore it's a lost art folks yeah they also don't know how to use pcs like they don't know how to use windows they're like tapping on screens and there's like no touch screen. They're like, I don't know what to do. How do I unzip this file? I don't even know. What do I do? Old people help me. Well, what you have to do is download it. It goes into your download file. You right click on it. How? I tried pressing on the screen. It doesn't work with a mouse. A what? Oh God. <laughs> mm, I already have to argue with a little voice in my dang head. I don't need AI to argue with me too. Why not? Mm. But, uh, I find this actually pretty interesting. The Seinfeld AI actually, oh, Seinfeld actually made a comment, joke about humans not wearing comments. Yeah. In one of Greg Bear's sci-fi books, Eon, there's a type of AI called a partial which users set up as copies of themselves and are said to do various tasks. Advanced multitasking. That's what I need. Dude, if you want, here's the thing, chat. If you want us to excel, like me, the guy back there you don't realize just how much stuff we would we we would have so much stuff so much stuff all right and i, I would i would feel like it would just be so cool to just be like i want to work on everything you know god, oh god i'm looking forward to the future yeah mm. learning common sense oh there you go but take about hey, I don't know the military put AI tech in its new main battle tanks. Time will tell do. Din, 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 din. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want to do. What what if the AI realizes that war is uh, futile and then just turns off? Hey guys, uh, no, you got to destroy the enemy. No, we can't do that, dude. War is futile. <laughs> no, it's not. Just do your job. Nope, sorry, can't do that. I can't do that, Dave. I I'm not Dave. I saw it in a movie. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, because... Uh, ah. 
like I'm I'm always I'm I'm really big on you know uh, people using technology to better things, right? But then there's like there's that fine line between being heavily reliant on it, where you're like I can't do anything without it, you know, that kind of thing. Dude, hey, th hey, this thing goes down. I can still hang out on a street corner and be like, hey, what's up, pumpkin guy? You know, that kind of thing. Mm. Go. Dave's not here, man. Right? Dave's not here, man. Anybody do a parody of that? I can't do that, Dave. And then just like, you know, dude outdoor. Dave's not here, man. You know? That had to have happened. Let's see. Uh, boom, boom. Yes, I want the AI and military. Sir. No, sir. No, no. Coffee. Oh, I like that one. That one's nice. Okay. I like the little angry pumpkin there. It's like, meh, meh. <laughs> Yoink. Like what happened to the humans in Wally? Yeah, right? Wally. Like, I can't walk without my chair. Wait, what? Uh, God. Mm -hmm. Do you like who put a DVD in the air? What? Did everybody update their phone and like autocorrect is messing up their lives? Because I had this weird glitch in, you know, when I was texting people and it was like, it, it would just autocorrect odd things or just take out whole things and jump to something else. Yes. Oh, so it is. Eh. All right. No, because that, that happened. I was just like, blah, blah, blah. Because I, what was it? I, I said, I think, to, are you, no, I actually wrote out a text. Are you going to do anything tomorrow? And then it just jumped to, are you going tomorrow? And I got the response like, going where? I'm like, what? Oh, I guess it, you know, autocorrect took out all the stuff. I was like, weird. It's just weird, man. The robots want us to have miscommunication. I officially hate Samsung phone keyboards. <laughs> uh Oh, I, they're all kind of jank, every single one of them. Whether it's Apple, Samsung, it doesn't matter. There's always a quirk. Mm, so you would make foamy in real life? Will you give it uh, to the cult to lead us? Mm, I don't know. If you want AI foamy cult cult leader? Uh, I feel like he would cause an uprising. Uh, happy 700 episode. 76 Mario will hit the jackpot. Yeah, we'll save. Right on right. Thank you. What's up? Hope you're doing well. Mm. Bum, 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 bum. The tap a tap a tap a tow. Boom. Let's see. -na 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 -na. Hey, what was the other weird news? Oh, dude. Hey, Chucky season two is getting a Blu ray. Hey, write it down. There you go. Who says I have anybody to text? All right. There's always got to be someone. 911 operator. You know, whatever. Hey, man, just checking in. How's your day? <laughs> Don't text me. I'm working. Well, yeah, I know. See, see now you do. Go. Don't do that. Whatever happened to the foamy card carrying cult? What? Dude, we, we give out a new card every month. Where you been, bro? Bro. Hey, there you go. Sakura, what's Happy up? Happy 71 moon. Hey. Less than two. 71 moon. Sakura, what's up? Hope you're doing well. Sakura's been playing Elder Scrolls Online and doing fun things with people. I'm just saying. Elder Scrolls Online people have been very helpful, too. We actually ended up getting getting the base game because it was like six dollars on Steam, and I'm like, ah, oh, if Dawn ever plays online, I, can, I, I like on stream, I can just kind of hop into a game and be like, "What's up?" There you go. The game is addictive, isn't it? You're addicted. Admit it. <laughs> it's fun. It's also cool when people help you out. Yeah. You joke, but that happens. My wife has dealt with people like that who have no one and mental issues, but won't let people help them. Oh, that happens. Yeah. There are people that, that are in a dark place. You know? But you know what? You can always hang out at a public library. You might be able to meet somebody. Yeah. That's the thing, man. Dude, they can always always venture outdoors, even if you don't like it, every once in a while to get some vitamin D. I'm making a character right now. Dawn's making a character right now. Yeah, I need a cool wood elf name. Oh, uh, Woody. Woody for a wood elf. Or Woodsy. Who doesn't give a hoot. Wasn't that the name of an owl? Woodsy the owl or something? Hey. 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 Think of, think of a wood elf name. Woodsy. Call it uh Twigs. Call him Twigs. What? 
Or you can you could you could do a parody of a uh, uh, what was the the name of the woman in uh, Golden Girls? Oh, Branch Devereaux. Because wasn't it Blanche Devereaux in in Golden Girls? There you go, Branch. <laughs> All right, Don's like, okay, I'm gonna lurk now for the rest of the stream. <laughs> I'm gonna have some coffee. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Boom. Mm -mm. Nice. Uh no, Wood Elf. I'm trying to trying to how about trunks? Like that weird little elephant in, in Adventure Time. Who wants a peep of my apple pie? No, thank you. Uh let's see. Dun, dun. I'll just remake. Kind of upset my Xbox ESO character won't carry over. Bro, no, I had a really cool dark character that was all like, you know, and now I can't carry it over. I don't want to have to remake it. My God, that's what I hate about switching over. Why can't you have crossplay, you schmucks? My God, dude, you're Bethesda, bro. Bro, you're Bethesda. A Bethesda account should be there for a reason. Table flip. Ugh. Win or or or. Acorn Vale for Wood Elf. Uh, that's all right. I don't know. I like twigs. I would go with Twiggy. T twiggy LaBranch. <laughs> I I can't I can't do names seriously. I don't know what it is. You know. All right, we're gonna have a Wood Elf. You know, call him Bark. <laughs> what? What? Foliage Joe. <laughs> what? I, I can't help it. You know, I'm just thinking. Dude, if you're a wood elf and you're walking around and your name was Foliage Joe, that's Twiggy awesome. Twiggy Bop, Friggy Pop. Eh, hey, Twiggy Bop, Friggy Pop. There you go. Don's like, I am taking none of your suggestions. I want to make this character kind of personal and likable. I'm not going to go with Twiggy or or whatever. Branch Devereaux or <laughs> some parody Golden Girl Wood Elf. Yeah. Uh, I'm the Wood Elf character as a kid, call it Sapling. Uh that could work. Hmm. I'm trying to think now. I don't know a lot of uh horticultural kind of terms for woods. I don't know. Branch Forester? I don't know. <laughs> Something that would go with Dawn of Time as a last of name, so preferred start with the letter D. Uh, mm, I don't know. Hey, everybody look up uh, horticultural forest terms beginning with the letter D. Whatever. Master Splinter. Get, get out. <laughs> Even if your name is Halloween Ghoul, you came up coming here with Master Splinter. That's trademark, copyright. You're gonna get sued. Deciduous. Deciduous? Deciduous. Deci I can't even say it. I, I think that's a pass. Good call though. Mm. Uh, name them Foley Edge. Dawn of Time. Now, Is it is there a, is there a tree name that begins with D? Like a doopadoo? -doo? You know, dogwood. I feel like dogwood's not gonna work. Daisy Dawn? No, I don't think that's gonna work. No, I don't think ESO's got the the shorts for that. Uh, Dalior Oakenwood. That's actually a pretty good name. But it's got to go with Dawn. <sighs> Didgeridoo. <laughs> Didgeridoo. There you go. And every time you walk into a room, you got to announce your stuff going... That kind of thing. It'd be kind of funny. Uh, Dawn's here. <laughs> Cotton. Cotton the wood elf. What? I like foliage, Joe. Sounds old-timey. What? Foliage Joe. <laughs> mm. 
It was a dark part of the forest. No one was around except Foliage Joe. Embers dripping off his cigarette, slowly starting a forest fire. Foliage Joe was unaware of the impending doom that lurked around him. <laughs> What's up? Dame do chaos or Dame do klutz? I don't know. Do you want to be chaotic or do you want to be klutzy? Where you just drop your mana potions all the time. You're like, oh, wait, guys, you dropped my mana potion. <laughs> or do you just want to be chaotic where you just throw them at people? You're like, it's all I had left to throw at them. Mana potion. You just healed the enemy. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, they're casing apple scrub. Oh, apple scrub. I like apple scrub. Yo, apple scrub. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. They just call you scrub for short. Mm. Or something that rhymes with time. So the first name with with rhyme and the last name. Oh, so first and last name would rhyme. Uh, let's see. What would rhyme with time? Dime. Prime. Lime. Skyme. Lachaim. What do we got? Like time, dawn of time. No, but that no, but that sounds that's gonna trip people up. They're like, hey, time, dawn of time. You know, lime, slime, brine, crime, crime of time. Be a thief. Oh, crime, dawn of time. Be a thief. Be a thief. Be a thief. I don't know. Lime time, sign time. Right, this is going to be the whole stream coming up with names for Don's character. I don't even know what it looks like. Klein, Kine. All right, this is weird. Uh, Darkasian apple scrub. I do like that. <laughs> Don's like, all right, I'm out. Just put up the lurky mode. Uh, come on. Slime, rhyme, brine. Brine, like brine shrimp. Rhyme, rind. What? Judge rind hold. Uh, chime, chime. Chimed on a time. Yeah, like the little wind chimes you put up there. They could be made out of wood, right? I, I, feel, I feel like we're overthinking it. Foliage jail. Final answer. Mime of time. Yeah, but then they can't talk. You just got to make hand gestures. Don, but spelled D-A-U-N, like fawn. All right, I don't think that would work. Hey, maybe what about uh, uh, forest creatures? Like uh, deers or uh, ticks. Like Lyme, Lyme disease. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Lyme Dawn of Time. I'm because I'm, of Lyme disease. I'm covered in ticks. <laughs> well, that might be a mod. Covered in ticks mod for Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> I guarantee you some, it's on Steam somewhere, right? Hey, there's the uh, covered in ticks, you know, thing for Elder Scrolls. Ticks, George. Uh, Loki thought you said fried shrimp. Nope. Brine shrimp. Want fried shrimp so bad? I just want to eat food. Smoothies until you get better. You know? Uh, satirical cedar. Hmm. This is why my game name is Bria for all my main characters. There you go. That kind of works. Yeah, I don't know. Picking a name is kind of kind of tricky. I'm late. What's up, Tombo? Hi. How's it going? Boom, 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 boom. Ba, ba, boom, 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 boom. I don't know. It's it's really weird because like when I do character creation, one I spend more time doing that than actually playing a game, um, and then it's like picking a name. I'm like, ah, you know, you got to find a name that actually looks like the character, and you're like, this kind of maybe, you know, it gets tedious, especially when you have like OCDs about it. You're just like, no, this isn't a Bob. This looks like maybe a Joe or a Steve or something, you know. Or Wendigo. It's not going to be a Wendigo, though. I know. I'm going to have to look at the character and see what it looks like. Coffee. Go! Coffee time! Shut up.
This one looks very fancy, very, very whatever. Okay, was a, that one looks rather large. Looking kind of kind of big there. Looks big. Ah. It's kind of watered down. Yeah. Boop. Yeah. Reminds me of Fallout 4 where you can spend 10 hours making characters for you and your wife just to have one who die right out of the gate, right? <laughs> <laughs> then you're like, yeah, I'll get back to this game. The worst part is picking the voice. Actually, they are all horrible. Oh, God. I hate when... No, dude, you got no idea. Sometimes sound is more important to me than a visual. Like, dude, if they sound like garbage, I am just like, I can't listen to this character talk like this the whole time. You know? Especially when they're in that high, squeaky voice where they're like, Hey, everybody, how's it going? I'm a wood elf. You're like, oh, my God. And then they got the the over the top. They have the two extremes. They don't have anything like in the middle, you know? They have the super high pitch, hey everybody, or they have, hey everybody. I'm like, hey, come, come on, dude. Can we just, you know, tone it down a bit? You know, give, give me middle, of, hey everyone. So, middle of the road, kind of chill, but you know, a little distinctive in voice. You know, it doesn't have to stand out too much. Mm. Female Jerry Lewis. Oh, geez. <laughs> Oh, I'm in the woods now. Look out for the ticks. Oh, golly. <laughs> that would be fun if they could, if they could, here's a good use for AI deep fakes. You get like um, celebrity mods. You can put in a game like that and change your main character's voice on the fly. That would be great. You know, of course, there's gonna be le legal issues with that, but it'd be hilarious. You know? That's why most games Troy Baker does voice acting in. Yeah, kind of right. You kind of pick them out in the crowd, though. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just mentioning cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Nice. I haven't had a cinnamon roll forever. At least a good one. That's why I like Final Fantasy fourteen. No main character voices. Yes. Uh, is that who Cousin Kyle from South Park was a parody of Jerry Lewis? Um, There's been a lot of parodies of Jerry Lewis, so maybe I could see that. Yeah. That was a comment on Don at all. It was just a funny option in my head. Yeah. Hmm. I know, we we know. Eh. Pretty much the same voice actors as Skyrim. Mm. Sam Kinison AI voice. No, nah, he'd just be like, oh, oh, all the time. Gilbert Godfrey. Or the Bobcat Goldwaith guy. Oh, Jesus, yeah. <laughs> I can't even do it because it hurts my voice. Uh, Saints Row was great with changing the pitches. Uh, I made Dr. Girlfriend. I have a gruff British man's voice. Nice. There you go. Yeah, Saints Row was good with that. That little slider does help a lot with tone. Uh, basically, yeah, AI screaming at us. Yeah. Dude, George Carlin, AI deepfake in Elder Scrolls. Yeah, we're going to raid this thing, but you're all terrible. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Or how about Seinfeld? What's the deal with these dragons? <laughs> oh, God. I'm just, I'm amusing my own mind now, just thinking of all the weird celebrity AI vi voices you can have in, like, Elder Scrolls Online. That'd be crazy. Wolfman Jack. That would be pretty good, too. Go! I mean, there's already Alden replaced with John Cena in Skyrim. Nice. It's happened before. No reason it can't happen again. There you go. See? Come on, let's go. Hey, come on, deep, deep voice fake people who have a lot of free time and high-powered computers. Get to work. Tossing you the rest of my bed. Thank you. Gotta get back to my homework Good luck. so I can do things afterwards. See you yes. soon. There you go. Good luck. Congratulations again. Doing well on your test and onward and upward. And then sue everybody. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate Uh, What? That's good. Hmm. Bump, bump, bump. Where'd Don go? I want to. I want to. I want to make up more character names now. Pillsy has AI voice. Sounds fun. I don't think that would be doable, because most of the time they're inaudible to begin with, or maybe that would work perfectly. I don't know. Mm, bam, bam. Hey, we could try that if we look into that thing. I made Saxton Hal from Team Fortress Two and Saints Row Three. Just messing with with uh, chest hair. <laughs> don't mess with the chest hair. Mm. I'm going to say later, what's up? Thanks for the streams, Atora. Thanks for being here. Go. Nice. 
Dun, dun, dun. Thanks for being here. Do something fun today. Maybe get a cheesecake. I'm getting cheesecake later. Spoiler. I'm going to eat cheesecake today. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, birch merch. Birch. Birch merch. Mm -mm -mm. Dennis the Robo's John Cena's Robo. Nice. Taking a break when frustrated with a game has never helped you win not once. What? Yes, yes. Birch merch, birch merch. Uh, read that. I don't think Don the Fawn would work. Like the deer? No. No. A little Emperor Palpatine there. No. <laughs> I'm just hitting this coffee because my throat is dry. I like that one. Now I'm out of coffee. I'm gonna have to drink. I'm gonna have to drink ghetto water right now. There's okay. Here's the thing. For some reason, uh, bottles of water ain't been shipping uh, properly. So you know. Locally, you have varying degrees of brand water in bottles. So you have your Perrier, you got your Avion, you got your, you know, uh, Poland Springs, fill in the blank, blah, blah, blah. And then there's, for some reason, because none of that was in stock, we got this weird brand I have never heard of called Curse Splash. Literally bottled water. It's just a big gallon of water called Curse Splash. And I'm like, Really? You, you couldn't come up with a different name than Curse Splash. That, it, that is a sound effect that is written in a comic book, okay? You know? Very large superhero falls in water. Curse Splash. I'm like, it would have been cool if they did that and that was their font and they made it fun, but it was just a plain white label Curse Splash. It's not bad. I mean, it's not terrible. It doesn't taste like pool water, so that's nice. Um, but I'm just like, what is going on with the water? It's like being distributed weird. Yeah, but anyway. Mm. Uh, bum, bum, bum. I'm just throwing this out there. Darf Bobo. Tip of the hat to Trip in the Rift series. There you go. Darf, Darf Bobo. Bobo. <laughs> Dawn Le Fontaine. I see what you did there. Nice. Mm, dun, dun. I've got to clean. I got to finish cleaning my fuel injectors. I'm a work fan, so I can get to work tomorrow, but I can't procrastinate for another hour. Ah, I don't know if you feel you need to. Whatever. Yeah, well, I mean, we're gonna wrap up in probably like half hour anyway. So you know, if you got, you do what you gotta do. I started the day with dancing and laundry, so this is my break. Nice. There you go. Dancing and laundry. Like dancing with the laundry where you hold up a shirt and you're like, yay. Mm. No frills. Repo man. What? Label water. Yeah, pretty much. Mm, just throwing this out. And I read that. Eh, ba, 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 ba. Naturalia. Play on nature. I'll be quiet now. <laughs> Dude, coming up with a name for a character is really hard sometimes. Sometimes it just falls in your lap and you're like, oh, that works. Yeah. But if, you th if you're sitting around thinking about it, it's like, oh, my God, this is taking forever, you know? Mm. Taking a break. So, uh, what was the other weird thing that was going on? I can throw that out. Uh, hey, they're making a subspecies five movie. I didn't know that, but apparently it's a thing. Oh, who is here that's obsessed about uh, werewolf movies? Because there's another werewolf movie coming out called Viking Werewolf. It's Norwegian, though, so you got to read. It's a reedy. It's a reedy. Viking Werewolf. Uh, what is it, on Netflix? I don't know where it is. There you go. I don't know if it's any good. I'm just throwing it out there. I try to keep an eye out for things with the werewolves, so people who like werewolves, they know about them. Mm, I know, right? Oh, Norwegian. I gotta read Cabral. <laughs> Have a good moment at you with that. Uh, I have seven characters in ESO. Names were not that hard for me at the time. Yeah, but I think when you're actively trying to, like, think of it, it's like, ah, uh, you know. Bum, 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 bum. 
No, it took you a while to come up with the, uh, no, God, for those who actually read the comic, uh, the Lucretia Darkmore characters got a sibling, and the name for that character took a while to, like, manifest. That'll be in another comic, so don't worry about it. Yeah, we got to work on that comic. Oh, God, I forgot about it. Ugh, different kind of werewolf. But sometimes names are hard. Here you go. Mm. Unless it's something I'm really invested in, I just, uh, like, like, what, uh, most games don't really give a reason to think about names outside MMOs. Well, this is what it is, man. It's an MMO. That's what, that's what ESO. It's Elder Scrolls Online. ESO. ESO Soup. <laughs> mm, Viking Werewolf. I, I don't know if it's an actual Viking. It's just, it popped up in my blurb. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Wolfpack just started on Paramount Plus. I haven't seen it, but it got Sarah Michelle Gellar as an arson investigator, and I assume has werewolves in it or something similar. Oh, there you go. Oh, speaking of Paramount Plus, they got rid of Jordan Peele's uh, Twilight Zone. It's not on the service anymore. Why? Bro, what are you doing? They just like yanked it off. They're like, no. No way, bro. You can't. No. <laughs> I'm like, come on, dude. Berserk werewolf. Dun, dun, dun. Viking werewolf sounds like werewolves on horseback wearing armor. That, I feel like, would be more fun. But I don't know if this movie's going in that direction. Wolfpack is a sequel to the Teen Wolf series. Brr, brr. Keep passing those tapes around. There you go. Uh, God. Oh, but there's um people here who have Screenbox. Like, you know, the horror network thing, Screenbox? It's, like, super cheap. Um. They got some horror movies that are like kind of Bollywood remakes of movies like Scream, Fright Night, and The Eye. Okay, so grab your pen and paper, phone, tablet, or anything that you can dictate dialogue to. All right. The Scream remake, the Bollywood remake, is just called Shh. Like, shh, like, shh. There you go. Okay. The Fright Night remake, or heavily borrows from Fright Night, is called The Neighbors. Spelled what are you? Neighbors. Okay. And The I, Bollywood remake, is called like na na Nana. N A I N A. So there you go. Those are on screen box. I don't know how this works. I've never seen them. But if you have a morbid curiosity as to how Bollywood handles horror. And believe it or not, Bollywood has a long history in horror. It's just those movies don't become very popular. So if you dig through the crates, you're going to find that there is a lot of Bollywood horror out there. So some of it's actually pretty good, but they have their own lures and, you know, uh, I guess folklore tales that they would actually pull from then you know of course western culture and whatnot so hey if you want to be cultured and horrific things then you know you got to sometimes go outside the country you're living in look at what, what release some crazy movies there you go bollywood horror how many thriller make remix remixes do they have i don't know but there you go and these these are like better produced movies so again i don't know if there's dance numbers that they usually have in there and stuff but it, it, it's it is what it is so if you're interested there you go i'm looking forward to the reboot of the house movies that old movie over the house that was haunted and tries to kill people yes we'll see how that works out bring back george went um how many dance numbers i don't know i don't know if there's dance numbers it'd be kind of cool <sighs> Worlds on Wheels is a fun old exploitation horror flick. If anyone hasn't heard of, I have actually heard of that. Yeah, mm. I haven't seen it, but I've heard of it. Hmm, Bollywood horror adventures. What? Some of them could be good. Eh. Not to mention Bollywood has different censorship laws, so you'll get uh, to experience them and compare them to ours. Yeah, that's true. They're they're not heavy on nudity, so you know. I find that to be a plus because you can only have so many people running around the forest without clothes on before you're just rolling your eyes saying, oh, come on, dude. 
Who, who, who leaves the cabin wearing nothing just to check on that weird noise that sounded like a chainsaw and screaming? Yeah, well, it's like, dude, come on. That's when you just lock and bolt the doors and call the police. Water. Hey, it's like a Valentine's Day one. It got a little heart on it. Hey, finally that popped up. Yeah, that one just looks weird. I don't like this one. I'm going to give it like a 3 out of 10. Terrible. What's the next one? Go. Oh, that one's fun. Boom. There we go. Uh, boom, 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 boom. I'm sure there's some old, some odd corner of the film industry that caters unironically to nudists. Um, Probably. Eh. Whatever. Mm. Well, what you gonna do? Oh, yeah. Everybody's... Um, here's the thing. I know we've talked about James Gunn and the DC Universe and all that other stuff. Just... Uh, I'm curious. Is, are people here more optimistic or pessimistic that he's taken over? Because, dude, this guy's been getting so much hate. And I don't know if it's just the vocal minority on the internet complaining as they do or whatnot, but... Personally, I'm trying to be optimistic about this guy taking things over, but everybody is just like, but, blah, you know, that kind of thing. So I, I, I don't know. Like, does anyone just not care? I mean, that's the third option is not really giving a crap, but, you know, because some people are like, oh, I'm super pessimistic about it, and I'm just going to complain about everything that they does, and everything comes out, wait, I'm going to just yell at it. Now I'm just going to have to do another thing where you got to reclarify everything. I'm willing to give anything a shot for DC. DC. I'm willing to give anything except for DC anymore or not? I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm willing to just see what happens. Yeah. Is he recasting everything? We're not sure yet. Cause, uh, their stance on Ezra Miller was like, let's see what happens. And I'm like, your Rick and Morty people didn't see, wait to see what happened. You know, all the companies that were working with Johnny Depp didn't wait to see what happened. So, well, you know, why does Ezra Miller get the pass? You know? Uh, a little hard is on crack. Yeah, well, 60 frames a second will do that. Go. Thank you, Alex, for doing that thing that you did on the YouTube. Thank you. I'm excited for Atomic Card if it comes out in a couple of weeks. And I need what looks really good, like Bioshock and Soviet Union. Yep. That's made by the same people, so that should be good. Better be good. People seem more annoyed that they kept the Flash actor and ditched Cavill. Yeah. Mm, he's getting hate, but the studio heads haven't cut him loose yet. Yeah, I don't think they're already committed contractually. So I don't think the studio heads are going to do anything. This is like their last shot, really. You know? Because other than that, if that doesn't work, but... The interesting thing is, like, James Gunn is going to try to get games to actually work with movies and whatnot. Like, they're going to be part. Like, the stories are actually going to be relevant to what's coming out. And that's kind of a big step, you know? Uh, I'm excited for Time of Carry 3. No, I've read that. Uh, as in, I don't care who tries, just do something good, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I don't care who's in charge, just some, do something good, please. <laughs> I'm honestly hoping that Cavill dropping off other projects means he's opened up the schedule to play Bond. Um, I don't know if that's going to do that because he's uh, kind of up on the 40K thing now, right? No, because uh, I think Amazon was supposed to take this uh, Warhammer 40K thing and Cavill's going to be heavily involved in that, also acting. Yeah, but he's also super geeky about it too. So like they know the lore. Not that that helped them in The Witcher, but you know. Honestly, I'll go to, uh, they won't cast Cavill as Bond. He's quote unquote too old. He's too old. Henry Cavill is too old. Dude, I would be lucky to look at that good when I was too old. You know, bro, you're too old. Like, dude, 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 dude. Come on. Not for nothing. I, I would say for my eyes, I'd rather look at Henry Cavill than Daniel Craig. Just saying. Just saying for, for my for my eyeballs. Mm, 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 mm. They want a younger actor to keep around for a couple of years. 
But it, it's not like Cavill's in bad shape. It's not like he's like, yeah, I guess I can play Bond one more year. Yeah. Like, bro. <laughs> We want somebody who's going to be in shape for the next couple of years. Dude, what do you think he's going to do? Hit the Twinkies and just never work out again? Come on, dude. Or are they going to get that Warcraft bod where he's just sitting there like like the South Park character? Just getting crumbs off him. Mm. <sighs> I still want DC to make a Clayface movie like they did with the Venom movies. Give him his own movie. They should uh, give Clayface his own movie. He deserves it. Um... I would say yes, but I'm not quite sure if he's that has that kind of name recognition as far as the Batman villains go. So they would probably opt for, you know, I mean, the Penguins getting their own series for the love of Bob, um, you know, but they'd probably do Riddler, Joker, uh, Catwoman, you know, those kind of staples that everybody knows just because name. Like if you said, hey, Clayface movie, people are like, what? Clayface? I, I think that would if it was handled right. Like the Feats of Clay story from Batman, the animated series. I really think that would be an amazing movie. It really would. Yeah. Uh, wasn't Connery nearly 60 for his last Bond? Sean Connery. Bond. James Bond. Uh, let's see. Most of them don't look that fit at younger ages. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. They make it sound like Daniel Craig, Craig's wheelchair bound and using a walker, right? It's like, yeah, we need somebody younger. I'm like, dude, what? <laughs> Maybe they're trying to appeal to a younger crowd. Yo, we need the Zoomers and the Millennials to watch James Bond. Why? Let's hire Ezra Miller. No. <laughs> Ezra Miller's going to be the next James Bond. Mm. Egghead. <laughs> yeah. What about Bookworm? You know, a whole Batman movie about the villain Bookworm. <laughs> CGI Roddy McDowell back into the part. Go. Roger Moore was 57 when he did his final Bond film. So there you go. How old is Cavill? I don't even think he's hit 40 yet, right? Uh, I just want something that isn't only Joker and Catwoman. Come on, give this movie to the other villains. Tell me psychological horror with the villain Trilquist that can work. Exactly. <laughs> Mad Hatter. Yeah, there's so many things. I guess for that, just go back to the Batman animated series, but, you know, because at least they dealt with a lot of other characters. The episodes were short and concise, and they they were probably better written than most two-hour films. No. Mm -mm. Seems like several studios right now are bidding on game movies right now, and you got Cavill going to 40K, uh, Phoebe Waller, Bridge going to Tomb Raider reboot, and apparently Brie Larson is trying to get into the Gears of War adaptation. Wasn't, um... Batista going to be in that? Like, they, they were, like, super excited to be part of that. And I could see that happening. That would work. Yeah. Bookworm would be smart as hell. Exactly. Come on, that's totally... Tom Cruise is 60. Well, he's a vampire, so that don't count. Him and Keanu Reeves are drinking the same blood in some dark crypt in Hollywood. <laughs> Allegedly, I'm making that up, Internet. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, they should make a movie of the Toy Man from Superman Villain Universe. I haven't seen them touch that yet. Oh, there you go. I feel like Toy Man would be something that uh, James Gunn would just pull out of his hat. Yeah, we're going to do Toy Man. Toy Man. We already used Polka Dot Guy, you know. Uh, one way to get a good Tom and Jerry animated Tom and Jerry animated movie. Uh, I'm not longer to turn it into a movie. Eh. I think Batista was cast as one of the main characters, question mark. Yeah, that's what I heard last time, but I'm not sure if that's, you know, been confirmed. Uh, how about a movie about Kite Man? He has a kite. <laughs> oh, good. Nick Cage is finally vampire. Yeah. Uh, apparently, they said in Renfield, even though, you know, Nicolas Cage is going to be in it, uh, he's not in it as much as people are going to think. And I think they had to put that out there so they didn't get yelled at. Yeah. Toy Man sounds like a rejected Mega Man enemy. Yeah, right? It just throws tiny little Nerf balls at you. They're like, this guy's just so underpowered. He's not even a challenge. They made a show about them being vampires. And yes, really, really. Mm. Toy Man would be a horror movie with some black comedy considering uh, considering his toys. Yeah. And they could get worse. Actually, Killer Moth could be a good Batman horror movie. There's a, a Dude, the Batman villains were just so awesome. You know? I always say that. It's like, for me, the DC universe is Batman. 
any other superhero that falls into that universe, I'm just like, oh, yeah, there was there was Superman in that episode. Yeah. Maybe even Calendar Man. Today is the 12th. You know what happens on the 12th, Batman? What? Then is it some weird psychological thing that goes back to some kind of historic event that happened on the 12th, and he set up a, a series of events to recreate the horrific experience people had in the, in the past? That would be amazing. Hmm. Ticket man. You have a ticket and there's no way to argue. What do you mean? I really got to pay? You're Bruce Wayne. Just pay the ticket. <laughs> Not in this life. Calendar man was creepy in the Arkham game. It could work. Yeah, there you go. I'm throwing this out. I don't know if uh, he would, but it seems there's a potential. What Michael Emerson as Scarecrow. Don't push him aside because he's the Lisa wants to wants to wax philosophy. Um, yeah. Hey, uh, no, speaking of Liam Neeson, isn't he not going to be Qui-Gon anymore? Like, he's kind of done with the role, allegedly. I heard that. But the uh, person that played Rey is supposedly coming back to reprise that role as Rey for some reason. Star Wars, but, uh, you know, whatever. Just throwing it out there. Gun should do a new Swamp Thing for the fun of it. They are. It's, uh, Gun is getting the person who directed Logan to do Swamp Thing. So that's actually going to be like a dark movie. Yes. They're in talks. Not, not, nothing, nothing confirmed yet. But it's it's basically, that's one of the ideas of Swamp Thing. Uh, dun, dun, Batman could chase Calendar Man through the movie and it could take place between holidays. There you go. What about movies showing what the henchmen have to go through? What? You just call it like henchman number three. That would be a James Gunn movie. That That's a type of movie that's got James Gunn written all over it. You just, on the most generic-looking henchman that gets shuffled around from gang to gang throughout all the movies, works for the Penguin, something goes horribly wrong, works for the Joker, horribly wrong, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I think that would be hilarious. That would be a whole series. You just call it Unfortunate Henchman, you know? DC's unfortunate henchman. Yeah. And you can even make it comedical, you know, or comical that their actions directly led to the downfall unintentionally of all these crime bosses. You know? Like they were they were like the Inspector Clouseau of just henchmen and just constantly messed it up. That's an excellent idea. They should do it. Bane is the ultimate Batman antagonist. Let him lose. Mm. What? Wow, I was just joking. No, it's true. It's a true. Teen Titans should be in the new Batman movie. Um, Well, Robin is. Damian Wayne, that version. It's going to be based on uh, Brave and the Bold, from what I've heard. So it's like apparently Damian's out of control and Batman's going to rein him in kind of thing. Henched with the D laying on the table beside the logo. There you go. That sounds like a Ventures Brother episode. That would be good. We can call him Bob. Go. To think. Season 9 of Knockout City is a pirate theme season. Yarr. There might be a special collaboration event coming in our way. We have to wait 11 more 11 days more days all to be revealed. 11 more days. Give me an update in 11 days. <laughs> uh, dude, Knockout City, man. All the games are going away, man. They're all shutting down. Uh, thank you. Mm, I do want a new Batman on film to go against the Phoenix Joker. I mean, they did confirm the Joker yet, but uh, boy, I can dream. Um, yeah, I mean, there's going to be another uh, Pattinson Batman, and there's going to be another Yaquin Phoenix Joker, but I don't think the two are going to be intertwined. They're going to be separate, I think, at least for now. At least for now. Hmm. I love a new Man Thing movie to make a movie about World of Wild Back. It was terrible, but I would love to see modern day Man Thing done with a good budget. Um, Man Thing was actually in Werewolf by Night, the Disney special that they did. So they're in there. If you want to actually see an updated, well done version of Man Thing, look into it. Go. There's even a daughter of Vane known as Vengeance. Hey, you can't have... No, Batman's vengeance. Didn't you see the movie? He was like, I am vengeance. I am vengeance. Bro, you're just like some emo in a costume. I am vengeance. You're emo, bro. 
You used you used to be Edward Cullen. Who are you fooling? I'm Vengeance. Sparkle. <laughs> Sparkle for me, Batman. I think he's moved past that part, but we can poke fun at it every, every once in a while. No, he's a, he's a decent actor, so I'm not I'm not gonna hold Twilight against him for the rest of his life. Just partially. Uh, let's see. There's so many villains that came up in the movie based on what was the table of the Doctor Pig. Anyone? Doctor Pig. What? Uh, cut up out of the classic music. Nice. Uh, most generic movie would be another old stock sound effects. Either Wilhelm scream and Frank scream. Um, any cartoon sound effect. Boom. I wonder how. I wonder how Swamp Thing. I wonder how Swamp Thing. I don't know. Just as long as it's not like those cheesy 80 movies that were dreadful. Dude, Pattinson constantly riffs on Twilight. Yep. I, th I think he knows it wasn't a great movie, but, you know, you, yeah, he got the p paycheck, the notoriety, and all that other stuff, stuff, and it got him past his career, you know? A lot of good actors started with junk, junk films. Uh, let's see. Mm, professor. It's not Dr. Pig, it's Professor Pig. P-Y-G. All right. I'm Batman. Uh, I didn't see something. Besides from that, love is in the air soon in the big city. Only two days left till the Chemical V Day event hey. begins. Mm. There will be plenty of super mutant super couples mutants. to watch out for. Literally. You mm. can thank the Red Hand. Red Hand crew. I don't What is that Red Hand crew? Red Hand. That means I'm slapping people over and over again. I slapped you so much, my hand's red. <laughs> thank you. Professor Pig is a mental dude who either wears a pig mask in some comics or an actual head of a pig that he makes art out of people he kills. Oh, so like Serial Killer 101 kind of thing. All right. If only, right? <laughs> Do not bring your evil here. Well, where else am I going to put it, man? There's no room on the table. Uh, Krista Stewart can act amazingly well. Where? <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. I have not seen Kristen Stewart in many movies other than the ones where she doesn't use expressions. So, you know, I can't judge their acting career very well, considering I've only seen a marginal amount of it. But what I have seen, I did not care for. Wow. It's sad, but true, dude. It's just like that... that emotionless expression throughout a multitude of films i'm just like oh my god i can't deal with this yeah so i just basically don't even bother i don't know if to blame them or the director i don't know what are you gonna do uh i remember someone taking me to see the second hand to the last twilight and i remember laughing throughout the movie thought it was a comedy i was wrong people were giving me death stares Oh, God, you imagine laughing through that? And then, like, all these people were, like, squeeing over these characters. They're like, this is serious. This is this is a love story. Dude, just get out of here. Have some popcorn. <laughs> one more DC. What? Uh, one more DC can. What's one more with these movie ideas? If put to, Yeah. I, I think Marvel's got to get back on their legs. You know, because the last couple of movies have been kind of meh. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what DC does. Hopefully it'll be good. It's snowing hard right now in northern Utah. Mm. She might not be the best, but at least it's a lot better than Twilight series. I think anything would be better than a Twilight series. Yeah. I feel like you shouldn't judge any actor by their portrayal of whatever the hell they were doing in that series. Mm. Bah, 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 bah. Mm. Funny after the 2016 movie, this was so close to getting a few movies with Red Hood at least have Deathstroke. Yeah. By the way, the age of TV gotten so bad that in kind of glad AI makers like nothing for uh, nothing forever to make something like Velma never happen again. Um, yeah, but there is going to be a second season of Velma supposedly. I feel like just out of being out, out of being spiteful, like you don't like it, Internet. I'll show you. Second season is going to get a lot better. I doubt it. Yeah, oh, God. Oh, there we go. No, actually, I got to wrap up. I got to wrap up now because we got to do events. We got an event today. I got to do a thing. I got to deal with people. Oh, God. It'll be fine. But, um, hey, at least the uh, city frames a second kind of worked for today. Um, again, we're going to have to update things sporadically. I hope indie cartoons make Velma end. <laughs> Dude, indie, indie cartoons never get enough exposure, you know? It's all name recognition at this point. Dislike. I hope that goes well. Yeah. Well, we'll see. This be, I think there's going to be cheesecake, so it should be all right. all right. As long as I have something to drink. What?
SMG4. Bye by the end. Yeah. Um, I know we'll raid somebody. I don't know who's on, so I'm gonna have to check the last second. So boom. We're gonna do a thing and I actually gotta because I'm actually running a couple of minutes late here. Where is it? Where's my outro music? Go, 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 go. Bum, 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 bum. Go. Whoop. Thanks for the stream, PG. Hope you have a great week and see you Wednesday. We shall Jim see. Jim Love. We shall see. Thank you, Phoenix and Row. Appreciate. Um, we got a lot of running around to do and then other work after that. Then we're going to do other stuff. Dawn should be on tomorrow. Assuming people's migraines don't explode. We have power. The internet doesn't crap out on us and a multitude of other things that apparently want to just keep us, keep us down, man. Um, but I don't know. We'll do things this week. Uh, give Steve a break, right? There's so many clips we got to post. There's like literally a hundred or so clips just sitting there. Yet to be released. Okay. So we'll do that. Uh, Evie's going to be live. There's a bunch of people live. I don't know who's live. I'm going to have to go check, but I got to go. Everybody, thank you for being here. 700 episodes. One day, 701. Yeah, I tried to do that before the end screen came on. Oh, the end screen, 60 frames a second, too. Look at that. Tentacles and high def. That was not bad, city baby. See you in the next day. Today, I'm going to have a camera on the day when it's going so far. I heard very little of that. <laughs> the music was so loud. Thank you. Go. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang.